now we've looked at what we do defensively. Now we're going to look at what we do offensively. And we're going to look at sweeps specifically. Now when it comes to sweeps, you don't need to learn a thousand different sweeps. Okay, I used to do this all the time. I'd try and learn different sweeps from different positions and then I would forget them and I would get smashed and passed. I'm going to teach you the one concept you need to sweep anyone from any position. And all you need to do, and I'm going to show you right now, is, let's say you're, you're on your knees, all I need to do is take away his ability to post in a certain direction and generate enough leverage to move him in the same direction. If I do that, I'm going to sweep him every single time. Let's look at this for example. Let's say we're in the seated guard position, okay? I grab his arm, boom. I take away his ability to post in this direction. Now all I have to do is move him in this direction. I'm gonna use my hand that's on the belt to pull him forward, but I'm gonna generate leverage from my left foot through the ground to my right foot that's a hook right now. You'll see this. As I'm here, I generate leverage, I can pick him up, boop, 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 and then I sweep him, okay? That's one example. Let's say a scissor sweep, okay? In this example here, I'm in this position, I turn to like a scissor position, I grab his collar, keeping his weight forward, and I hold this arm here. It's taking away his ability to post with his hand. But I'm also using my left leg to take away his ability to post with his leg. Because sometimes if I have his hand, he might just pop up and put his leg there. If I go to sweep, he chops up, suddenly he's replaced his sweep. So I need to make sure that doesn't happen. So I use my legs. So now I do this, whoa, and I use my right leg to kick, and I come up, pull myself onto mount, okay? Another example would be in this position, a lot of the time what guys will do is they'll, they'll push my leg down, boom, because they want to try and run around me and pass. So let's say this happens, he pushes my leg down, whack, I hold his wrist, okay? If you can just move that arm so you can see. I've got a, I call it a horseshoe grip on his wrist here, but I'm basically holding and I'm tucking my elbow in, which makes it hard for you to pull your hand out because his hand is gonna be bigger than his wrist. And if he can't pull that out, if I'm creating a, a space that's so tight that he can't pull that out, he's not gonna get that hand back. Now what I need to do is I need to be able to generate enough leverage to take him backwards. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lean back and I'm gonna put my right foot under his butt here. I'm gonna generate leverage from my left foot through to my right foot. Oh, what's going on? Chwa! Sweeping power. Boom, back there. Now, every single sweep you can do from Jiu-Jitsu, you can use this. If you do this, you will sweep anyone. But there's some situations where you've got to be creative with it. Sometimes I don't grab his hand. Sometimes it's too obvious to grab his hand. So sometimes I let him grab me in a position where I know he's not going to be able to post. This happens a lot in this position where I'll be playing Z guard in this position and they go nice and tight and hug my body and they get, I get whacked in this position here and he's trying to hold tight around my body. So what I do is I start letting him start trying to pass and you start trying to stand over the top of this and I get to this position here which is almost like I'm pancaked. I do have my foot here but he's in a very, oh, I got a, bit, a very good position here. What he's looking at doing is he's looking at trying to pin me on the ground. So I'm sitting forward and pushing into him. So he responds by pushing me. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to trap his left hand, okay? His left hand that's around my waist right now that has to be because I'm pushing into him. I'm trying to push, so he pushes. Suddenly I drop it on the ground. Now my weight's on his hand. So I've taken away his ability to post in this direction now and he doesn't even know it because he put his hand there himself. And then I push from my left leg to my right foot as a hook, kick him up in the air, and suddenly I go to sweep. And I come back up on top. So there's an example there. Sometimes they'll go double unders, and they'll start trying to pass, and I'm like, ah! And he puts his hand here. So I think again, okay, what's the concept? I take away his ability to post in this direction, and now I need to be creative and find how to put leverage in that direction. So sometimes what I do is as he's putting pressure, I reach through with my right hand, I grab his left leg and what I'm going to do is I'm going to push straight and I drop my body to the ground and push his leg up and I come up here and I can sweep him. Every single sweep uses that concept and all I'm ever doing when I'm rolling is trying to address how to do that every single time. But you have to learn to be very creative to do it. 
because eventually people are going to make it very hard for you to grab like the, the, pin, the, the top here. I grab the top, he starts pulling it back and breaking my grips. So sometimes going directly for the post first is too obvious. They're going to predict that because if someone's thinking about not getting swept, the first thing they're thinking about is their, the posting hand. They're going to think, how can I stop him from grabbing my posting hand? So a lot of the time when I, get, when I start training with better people that are more advanced, not like Hector, but <laughs> now, if I was training with Hector, I'm thinking I need to make sure that I don't convey what I'm trying to do. I don't want to telegraph that. If I grab his hand here straight away, he's thinking smart. He's either break the grip or move his weight in the opposite direction. So what I try and do is I try and get control of his upper body. No, no, sorry. I try, and, I try and get control of moving his weight first. So in these situations, what I'll do, I'll dive in this position here and I'll grab his belt here. I don't have the ability to sweep him right now, but I have the ability to keep him uh, attached to me. I can bring him forward. I can push him back from this, from this position here. I'm using my grip on his gi. I'm tucking this in nice and tight. I'm bringing my right elbow to my right knee, which stops him from being able to move away. And my right foot is gonna become a hook that follows him. If he starts trying to pop up and do things, I'm following him. So I'm not able to sweep him yet, but I'm able to keep control of him. But anytime he does something like this and I can suddenly I, I grab that arm or if I can grab this arm, let's say he, you start reaching over the top where you did it before, he starts trying to pummel in now. Okay, come to go for an underhook. Ah, I grab this arm here. Now I just know I need to move him this way. So if I can move him this way, whoa, what's gonna happen? We go back. That was cool, it was like slow motion. <laughs> if sometimes what I'll do in this position here, I reach under his leg and he will try and block me by blocking my face with his, I'm like, Ugh, block that. And I know that's coming. So as he does that, uh, I grab that, boom, and I sweep him this way. So depending on how, how crafty and how deceptive you can be with getting those two, you know, the, the post and moving his weight will dictate how successful you are. So on a simple scale, what I advise you do is go grab any position and try and figure out by taking those two things, taking away his ability to post and moving him in that same direction, how many ways you can sweep someone. That's what I used to do. I used to sit there and I'd practice. We'd go to any position. So you choose a position on me, any position you're passing, okay? Uh, okay, here, let's just turn it this way so they can see us. So I'm in this position here. Yeah, let's go in the center a bit more. There we good. All right, so I'm in this position here. So I gotta think, okay, which way can I sweep him? I, if I take this arm away, I'm not gonna have any kind of leverage to move in this direction anyway. So let's say even if I did take this away, I can't push him this way. So that's probably not the way I'm gonna go. I've got my feet in here, so I know that if needed, I can push him this way. So from here, what I might do is reach around and grab this arm somehow. Now I've got this arm, I grab him, I move you this way. Okay, and I gotta try and think how many ways can I come up with that? Uh, let's pick another, choose another position. Oh, no. oh great, a really hard one. <laughs> this is good though. So I'm in this position here and I gotta think, okay, how can I sweep him in this direction? I'm thinking right now, I can try and take him this way because I've got his post, because he is grabbing. I know I can hold the post, but it'd be very difficult for me to, to generate leverage to move him there because my left leg's stuck under here. I might be able to grab this and boom, and pop him this way. But I'm gonna say that if he wanted to, he could make it a lot harder for me. So I'm gonna think, okay, his arm's stuck under me here. I'm gonna try and block this arm from reposting, and I'm gonna reach over the top and grab his belt here. At the same time, I'm gonna plant my right foot on the ground and try and move him, whoa, look at that. Straight into the lights and get a sweep. It doesn't mean it's going to happen while rolling, but I have options. And that's all I'm consistently doing while playing guard when it comes to sweeps. Every single time we're in a position, I use the, the problem solving uh, you know, system that we're talking about. I analyze the situation, I come up with a solution, I act on it, and then I evaluate how successful it is. That's all I'm continuously doing. When I'm playing guard, I'm sitting there thinking, okay, how can I take his post? How can I, how can I generate leverage to move him that way? So practice like this, and then as you get better, start trying to apply it while you're rolling. And I'm telling you, the more you do it, the quicker it's gonna come, the ideas will come to you a lot quicker, 
and you'll start sweeping anyone from any position. The best thing about this is it doesn't matter if you're in a, in a dangerous position, you have options always. So try and practice that. 